Hey, what's up? Welcome to Hoodie Studios. It's your boy, A to the K to the K, Alexander Ken Kwame. And today, we got something new from Jenga FX. The same guys behind Ember Gen, they've got something for us. They call it GeoGen. And this is a 3D terrain generation software that's going to help you generate almost every landscape that you want to generate and also you can also generate planets so in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to get your landscape from geogen into unreal engine so let's just hop in don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share yeah so this is the landscape we want to create in unreal engine so We've got a whole lot of nodes going in here and yeah, don't go, don't go crazy. All you have to do is let me go back to home and I'll go to preset. Now you can choose any preset you want. And also you can see at the top here is a trial version. So I've got 10 days. So you can just hop into their website and you go in for your trial version. So yeah you like it you buy it but i believe this is the alpha version so i don't know if the real version is out i don't know yet but you can check on their software um, i mean on their website to see what's going on so you can see um this is it this is it here uh what i just showed you guys so i'll go back to home and i'll double click and y'all can see it so yeah so you don't have to worry about these nodes now you have to only to worry about these nodes when you want to recreate them so this shouldn't be any of a hassle but i only have some few nodes i placed in myself so uh, the export mask so whenever you see an export mask in this node graph then you, you know i did it by myself because all i want to do is to export the mask to control my textures in unreal engine so and i have um, one last node which is export mesh so i'll show you why i made the export mask now you when you toggle you can just hover around the mask and when you just click it it will just show only the mask so this is the red this is only the mask so and when you want to get out of it, you can just click here and you are back to normal mode. So you saw that mask and we have another mask here. So let me just click it on. So you can see this is more of a cavity mask. Okay. And um, I'll just close it. And we have another mask here. I'll just click it. And you can see we have the vegetation mask on top. Okay. So I'll just close it. And... I'll come down here and we have well, let me click it okay so these are actually for the rocks yeah but I actually didn't export that mask and there's one last mask so let me go top here and the sediment this is another mask okay so we, you just have to drag click and you drag and when you leave it you can have export and you have export mask and you just export your mask into the location that you want and for the mesh you just look for the last node that's actually going to connect to your render um, node which has the height map so yeah just connect the last node and you are gonna get the mesh so when I click it you can see we have only the mesh all right so when you connect the export mesh then you can export your mesh into actually mostly i do deselect the export water surface so i deselect it and i just go in for the mesh so when you when you are naming your mesh make sure you have it as fbx and i took it to blender to just give it um to make an auto smooth to just smooth the surface a little bit so let's just hop into unreal engine and let's just put everything together all right we are in unreal and in unreal first you have to go to plugins and you have to enable 
uh, the water plugin because maybe you don't you don't need it maybe you you need it but you have to enable the water plugin and um, go to um, now I'll say go to edit and go to project settings and in project settings you are gonna search for substrate because we are gonna use substrate to um, bring all our textures together so you have to turn on substrate and you have to restart your engine so I'll just control plus N to oh come on control plus N to give us a new level I already have my 3d model here the mountain here so I'll just drag it into our scene you can see that right here so this is how the mesh look like and I will just make it point three so just like this okay so let's deal with the textures is um, pretty simple remember all the masks I told you all about all the masks that we had so these are all our masks and we are gonna use this to control our textures now I went into bridge and I went in for some textures I already have some downloaded textures so actually this one I have this one and I have this one and um, I have this one too in there and I have this one in there with this one and um, this one right here you can just use any of them for your rocks so so let's just get started with it so I will uh, go to my main folder and I will create a new material and I will double click I will save it so that's uh, oh okay now I have to make it um, maybe tat and I will just save it so that's our new level now this is substrate so you have to enable substrate for this so I will drag this out and I'll go in for um, I'll go in for substrate horizontal blend this one right here is going to connect every node for us so I'll just pull this one up like that I'll go to the mega scans folder and I'm gonna bring all these textures into our graph so I will drop push this one as the base color and um, I'm gonna use this as the normal map I'll just drag it into the normal slot and now this is the roughness switch the roughness is in the green channel and I'll just drop it into the roughness and um, we have to get a texture coordinate and you just hold one and you right click for this node we will go in for another multiply node so I will connect the texture coordinate into the A and uh, and this one into the B so this one is actually going to drive the UVs that is why I have this one in there so I'll make this like 5 then I'll connect this to the UVs this in that and I'll connect another to the UVs so I think okay cool then I will click apply yeah we don't have our um, material onto the surface so I'll just drag and drop it onto the surface and um, I just think the tiling is too much but to think about it when you go inside 
it's not actually too much but when you are outside so actually let's just finish with everything and let's just see if it's too much so i will click and i will say Control c Control v bring this one down here and at this moment think about it this is actually the base so we need actually something on top on top of it we can choose for the we choose to go for the vegetation or we can choose to go for the shore the sun beneath because no one is actually interacting with anybody so you can choose to go with the shore first or choose to go with the vegetation first but i'll choose to go with the vegetation first so i'll bring this guy in here and i'll connect to the base and the normal to the normal map and i'll connect the roughness channel to the roughness and I'll drag this and I'll go in for out add route node so which I'll drag it to control the UVs again so UVs and UV so now i will not actually blend them first because i want to see how it will look on the surface before i blend it so i'll connect this one and i'll click apply okay so it's cool then we can actually go in for this node so when we think about it the rock got to be the background and the vegetation here got to be the foreground so i will just push this one into the foreground and we need a mix so what's the mix gonna be the mask so with the mask i'm gonna pull out the vegetation mask And I'll connect the mask into the mix and I'll drag it in here so when we click apply we have this so almost we are just getting there gradually okay to get our next material going on we have to bring this one here and we are going to click control c control v and we bring it here we will go to the sun texture and i'll bring in the albedo or your diffuse map you just plug it into the base color and the normal map you just plug this one into the normal and you plug this one into the roughness map then i will bring this one here and i will actually what i also want to see how it's gonna look like so i'll just plug oh sorry i'll just plug it in just like this and i can copy these notes to actually control the uvs here too so I'll say UV and I'll say UV and UVs. Yeah. So I'll just click apply and I want to see how everything is going. Okay, it's cool, but I think it's too. Actually, let me drop um, a post processing volume and I'll go to the infinite click to extend bound and um, I'll go to the exposure and I'll try to drop the exposure a little bit because I think it's too high okay so since it's actually working I will control C and control V this guy here and this one into the foreground 
and I'll put this one into the background. And what will the mix be? Actually, the mix is going to be the sand mask. So I will click and put this one in here and drag this guy in here. And when I click apply, boom, how amazing is this? With this, we can actually bring in the ocean. So you can click here and all class, you search for water and you go for um, water body ocean. I'll just pull it up and I'll pull it back and I'll pull it down a little bit so yeah it sound like this and actually for the water I can just drop drop it a little bit the shape okay this is okay and i'll drop this one too uh, a little bit inside okay so yeah we have it and let me try and go to the exponential fog and I'll need um, volumetric fog in here and I'll make it like 0.2 okay so yeah here we have it actually you can go in for the water maybe you don't need the water you can just take it off and also in the materials, as I said, you can bring the sand materials to replace the vegetation materials because they won't just conflict. All right, so the, this is the node for the materials. And this is what we got. So yeah, that's how you bring GeoGen terrains into Unreal Engine. And you can also try and export the height map and take it into the landscape version okay so thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share it's your boy a to the k to the k alexander king kwame i'm out take care of yourself